What's going on guys? It's your boy James here, Beards and Cars, back with another video. If you guys are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing. If you guys are just stopping by, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Now, also guys, if you watch my channel, please hit the thumbs up. It really, it really helps out the channel. So, in this video, I want to talk about something that somebody asked me in a previous comment. So, um, and this could be a lot of, this could be a lot of factors. So, and it was basically just about why does his beard feel shorter on some days or look shorter? And why is it harder to comb through on certain days? Now, there's a lot of factors here of why this could be doing this. Um, how long is your beard? Is it how, you know, is it long, short? Is it curly? Is it, is it real textured? Is it real tight uh, up against your face? Uh, there's a lot of reasons there. So I'm going to try to address some of the reasons right here that I think this could be and what could actually help you here. So, um, the first, the first thing I would go to, and you know, when I, when I hear stuff like this, the first thing I go to is thinking about why my beard does this. So my beard tends to do this usually first thing in the morning. And then as far as just throughout the day, you know, my beard doesn't really change much throughout the day unless I'm seeing a lot of wind and the wind is blowing it around, and you know, stuff like that. It doesn't really change throughout the day as far as uh, getting getting harder to comb through or anything like that. Now, and the same thing with the, with the shrinkage, you're looking shorter. Now, I will tell you, my beard could look just like this right now. And if it was crazy humid outside, like a hot day, and then it just rained all of a sudden, man, my beard would literally go from being styled like this to shrinking up probably a whole inch or more and then just literally afroing out to here. So if it's a humid day, that's that would probably be the cause of that situation if it's some days. Now, if it's, you know, because that's when mine usually does it. Now, if this is something that's happening all the time, it could be a totally different direction. But what I would suggest for you is if you're not using a lot of good beer products, then start using them. And then also, as far as the comb, um, as far as your comb not being able to comb through right correctly, or it's getting snagged and stuff like that, make sure that you're using a decent oil, a decent comb, uh, that you're, you're co-washing your beard, um, and also just using a good butter. So, for just for instance, I'm going to pop up a couple things right here and just kind of show you some things that I would use. And this could go in any order. Um, it could be any other beard products. This is just some ones that I grabbed real quick just to show you. So now, if your beard is like mine, and see, my beard is actually way curlier and coarser than it looks in camera because I actually do a lot of preparation to get my beard to this, whether it was just before the video or two or three hours before the video. You know, when I first wake up, my beard looks nothing like this. It's real curly. Obviously, you guys know that I blow dry my beard a lot, so that's one reason. Now, the other reason for snags in your comb uh, not going through could possibly be, it's hard to say if it's just happening here and there, but it could possibly be just some knots. You know, maybe you need to do a little trim or maybe pick some of the knots out there and cut them off. I try to keep a, I try to do a nice trim here and there. I haven't done one in a while, but I tried to do one every two months something like that just knock a little bit off of it uh just to make sure i get rid of some of those split ends but so first of all if you're new to this start using get you a good beard oil uh it could be any brand there's plenty of people out there reviewing them get a nice beard oil make sure you have this in after you get out of the shower in the morning or before you go to bed at night depending on how you want to do your routine make sure you have a nice good layer of beard oil in um, and that'll, that'll help, you know, cause a dry beard is, is not good. And so a little bit of beard oil will go a long ways as far as running the comb through there. Also, now <clears throat> if you're not co-washing and you don't have to do it all the time, it just depends on what you want to do. So I personally don't co-wash every night. I know a lot of you guys do. I co-wash sometimes, sometimes at the max twice a week. Um, but I usually do at least once a week sometimes twice a week and there's a reason behind that i'll discuss that in a later video but that alone can help come up that alone can help a lot so get yourself a good co-wash so 
this is just a Scotch Porter. There's a lot of other brands out there. This is a good co-wash. I don't know, you know, which one, if, you, if you're using one, which, which one you're using, whatever. Just make sure that you're co-washing at least once and you know maybe you can do it every night you know some people for me it kind of gets my beard a little whack to do it every night so i don't do that so um get you a good co-wash and co-wash your beard at night or during the day midday nighttime no, whenever you want to do it just make sure that you're co-washing your beard uh because that'll help out a lot as far as getting tangles and the comb gone through and stuff like that so and then also this has been one of the biggest game changers for me um, is literally just using a good beard butter. So there's a lot of beard butters out there, and I've got a lot of them on my shelf in here. So, but one of the one of the main beard butters I like a lot for you know because like I said, my beard's a lot. It doesn't look just like this when I wake up. It's really curly. It's really coarse. It's tangled. So one of the uh, one of the best beard butters that I use for this situation, for this situation here, is going to be the Live Bearded. And you can get any of their butters. This is the executive. I mean, you can get any of them. Their beard butter has a totally different feel in your beard. So it, uh, you know, all beard butters work very well. Everyone that I've ever used anyway. Anyways, they all work really well. But this beard butter, I don't know what is in it exactly that does this. But when you put it in your hands, it feels kind of, it feels tacky, like kind of sticky. But what I've noticed is when I put this in at night, it does feel kind of, it does feel kind of sticky and tacky. Just a little bitty bit. It ain't nothing bad. It ain't nothing bad at all. But what it does is for me is it feels like it puts a really nice thick layer on there without being real greasy. And then in the morning when I wake up, I'm actually able to glide a comb straight through this, you know, straight through my beard, whether I, this is with, this is with bed beard. I'm actually, I'm actually using a comb and glide it straight through with this beard butter. And it's because of something in it, it lasts all night. And when you wake up, you still have that, you still have that feel. It's not, that tacky feel is kind of gone. That little sticky feel that you first feel when you're rubbing it together. It's completely gone, but you still feel like it's coated, and, and you'll have to use it. If you've never used their beer butter, that's all, that's the best way I can explain it to you. So this here will help a lot as far as the comb not wanting to glide through it a lot. That The, the co-washing and the beer butter is a must. Get up in the morning, do your morning beard routine, whatever it is. Put you a nice, if you got a big beard like mine, put you a nice amount of beard oil in there. and uh, And that should help a lot. And it also depends, also another thing depends on the comb you're using. If you've got a comb and you're using little bitty teeth like that and you got a beard like mine that's curly, uh, that comb right there is going to snag like crazy, man, because the teeth are so small. So if you do have a comb like that, use the wider side. Um, I still rock a Kent comb. This is a, this is a must. This is a must comb, in my opinion. I don't care what kind of beard you have. Now, if you got a super, super curly beard, this may not work as good. But after you, after, I'll tell you how I do this. So, I first start off with this wide tooth comb. If you don't have one of these combs, I'll link most of this stuff down below. If you don't have one of these combs and your beard is snagging here and there, get one of these combs because this will glide through it with ease. This is an ox horn comb. Grab one of these. This will go through your beard with ease. Uh, even if you've got a crazy nappy curly beard, this will still go through your beard with ease. That's what I like to use. But see, what I do is I use this first, first thing in the morning, uh, after I put my oil in and stuff like that, I use this to brush through the beard. And then I come back and I fine tune it with a kent comb. And that's why I use a kent comb. I can't just wake up in the morning and use this comb right here. It's not going to happen. Um, it's going to pull out a lot of beard hair. It's going to just break them straight out. So I like to wake up in the morning and use a good comb like this. And I also got a wooden one. Get you a nice wooden comb with long tines and it's a little bit far apart. That'll help with that snagging right there alone. So, and then like I said, once I come back and finish blow drying, I use a little, something a little bit more finer and then that kind of helps my beard get a little bit more nice and tight and straight. So, I hope that helped. It's, it's really hard to explain this stuff in a comment. So, hopefully that helped. And uh, man, as far as the, as far as the beard looking shorter, that's probably just 
you know, we like to critique our beards a lot. So that's probably just something that you're critiquing in your own mind, unless it has to do with, like I said earlier in the video, where the humidity is actually drawing your beard up because that's what it does to mine, man. When it's, like I said, when it's hot outside and it rains or something like that, or it's humid, my beard literally just shrinks up and looks like complete crap. Even if I went right now and turned on my shower and turned on completely hot and shut my shower door, and then just let it steam up in there like crazy. And I, my beard looked just like this. If I walked in there, I would come back out with my beard looking like this and shrunk up. So hopefully, maybe that maybe that answers some of your questions there. Hopefully that narrowed it down. Uh, so yeah, and then also one more thing. If you're new to the channel, um, which I'm pretty sure you are when you ask this question, if you don't use it, if you're snagging, depending on when you're snagging, if you, if you got one of these and you got one of these and you're using this and you're still feeling snagging a lot after doing the condition, after you're doing these at night, this, and then sleeping with this, if you're still snagging a lot, and a lot of times when we're snagging, we're ripping hairs out, get one of these brushes. Sorry about the hairs all in it, guys. <laughs> Me and my wife use this, so get you one of these brushes. You will not regret it, I promise you. Anybody that's watched my review on this brush right here knows that this is one of the best brushes to get when you've got a nice, big, thick, curly beard and a comb don't want to go through it. This is what you're going to use right here. It's going to really be a game changer for your beard. So with that being said, guys, hit that like button, please. Uh, and just uh, stay tuned for the next one. So see you guys then.